Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here and today I'm going to be showing you how to animate bullet points in Adobe Premiere Pro without any assets. So we're not going to be like you you know using um, stuff from maybe like Photoshop to bring in bullet points or anything. We're just going to be doing it uh, straight in Premiere Pro with just a couple little tricks to make it look good and we're going to add some motion blur to make that even look even better, which uh, I covered in a previous video but I'll show you again quickly how to do it in here. So first we just need some footage to work with. So I grabbed uh, just some footage of Japan. I was on a bus and I just pointed it out the window and got a really cool, really fast dolly shot of uh, the transition between Osaka and Kyoto. So yeah, so this is the footage. And let's say we wanted to add bullet points to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go down here and I'm gonna search brightness. I'm gonna grab brightness and contrast. We're gonna be using keyframes here. Um, very important uh, in After Effects, but this can all be a lot, probably done easier in After Effects, um, but if you wanted to stick in Adobe Premiere Pro, it can be done and it's not actually that difficult. So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna go into brightness, give it a little bit of a time to open up the shot. Then we're gonna click on the stopwatch here, that's gonna toggle animation or toggle the keyframes. Click it right here. Now we have a keyframe here at this point. Advance it by, I don't know, maybe 10 or so frames, 15 maybe. And then we're gonna drop down its brightness. To maybe minus 50. Minus, yeah, that's close enough. So yeah, so um, if you can see, we're gonna just gonna play it back real quick. It drops down in brightness right there. So that's where we want the animation to start our um, our bullet points. So go to the point where it is dropped down. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to title and then new title. And we're just gonna go with a default still. Name it uh, first bullet point. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can do it bullet point by bullet point or you can do them all at the same time. Um, to do it bullet point by bullet point, we're gonna add a bunch of titles and then animate them all separately. If you wanna do them all at the same time, just type them all out right here. So let's click and drag, made our first one, I don't know. Um, Osaka is one of the world's biggest cities. Alrighty, and then so now to add a bullet point, we're just gonna use the Alt seven so hold alt hold alt then click seven and release them both at the same time um alt eight is a different one alt nine is a really big one that just doesn't work alt six i think is one no alt six is a star you could use that but anyway you do alt combinations and you can get like really cool symbols look up the alt symbols for bullets you can make it a yin sign um yeah, really anything. We're just gonna go with Alt-7 to make a bullet point right here, add a space mark in there, and now we have ourselves a cool little bullet point going on here. So yeah, we got our bullet point. It's all set up. Just go ahead and exit out of there. And then now we're gonna go back into our project, and it is created down here as first bullet point. We're gonna drag it into the folder, or the, uh, the timeline. And so now it's right here, click on it, and so instead of adjusting the position right here, we're going to do this. We're gonna go into effects and we're gonna search transform. We're gonna click and drag transform on over and then we're going to adjust it from here. So let's get a base of it started. I need it a little bit more centered. Right there looks pretty good. So now we have it where we want it to start at or where we want it to end at really. So now we click position and it's going to create a keyframe here, and then we're gonna drag it, remember this number, 540 is where we want it to come back to. We're gonna drag it out of the scene, right at the bottom. Then we're gonna advance maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or 10 or so frames ahead, and then we're gonna come back to 540, where we wanted it before. You can also click on this, because it is slightly hard, and just go, you know, 540 right like that. Now we're at 540. So, next thing we do is we just uncollect unclick, use composition shutter angle, and then now we have control of motion blur right here. Drag it up to maybe in the 60s, click play, and you can see it's got a little blur on it as it comes up. If you, it's, I think it needs a little more blur because it's moving at a little bit faster of a rate. After Effects will calculate all this stuff for you, um, which again, why I said maybe slightly better for this task. But now look what we just created which is a couple of minutes and a couple of little tweaks, we now have our bullet points coming in. So, we got our first bullet point in. Osaka is the world's biggest city. Um, let's see, is that even... You can adjust the speed and everything you want. So now let's create another one to just show how this keeps working. So we can just... Um, let me see... Yeah, we're just gonna right-click on that, click Duplicate, double-click on it, 
and then just type in something else here. Um, Osaka has a population of 2.65 million. Let me go ahead, I think that's right. Yeah, yes, 2.665 million. So, 2.665, alrighty. So now we have our second one created. Go ahead and exit out, it's now created. And now we just go ahead and drag it above this one where we want it to start. We can lower that down, bring this up a little bit so we can see it better. Okay, so now we have this one. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna go into effects, transform, drag it on over. And then from here, we're gonna make it, let's see, it's at 540, 960, what was the other one at? We, we moved it to 1036, so 1036, enter. And now it's in line with the other one. And now we're gonna go ahead and drag it on out of the shot. Go one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, you should keep the exact same as the other one. So the transition time in should be the same. Otherwise, it'll look like one comes in really fast, one comes in slightly slower, one comes in really fast, stuff like that. And when you're working in Premiere, because it doesn't have a lot of the tools of After Effects, you're gonna need to keep track of some numbers here. So when it comes back, well, one second really quick, actually. Um, we should probably hit the keyframe here and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, um, so yeah, you're gonna keep need to tr keep track of some numbers. So when it comes back up, the first one's gonna really judge the spacing. So the first time it started at 640 and now 670, let's go 740, let's make it easy. So yeah, let's click on it, 740. So 740 is where the next bullet point is gonna come in, which means it's 200 more than this one. So when you make your third one, it should be 940. When you make your fourth one, it should be 1140. And yeah, keep the spacing, make sure it all looks the same. So now we have one come in. Um, we need to add a little motion blur to this. Motion blur is something that should be the same. So 92.14, click on here, undo that checkbox, 92.14. And here we go. And yeah, so you can keep doing that, bring up all the stuff you want. Once you're done, go ahead and make sure that you bring it out of the lowered brightness that we did at the very beginning. So go ahead here, click on another keyframe. It'll uh, We're creating a keyframe that's exactly the same so that if we just adjusted it now, it would do a slow transition to this point. So now we're just saying, until this point, maintain the same. And then now we're gonna start transitioning back to default of zero. And you probably wanna do a reverse on this as well. So go into here and make them fly out the top, out the left and right, anything you want, exact same method. But we're just gonna go ahead and have them disappear maybe at the same time right here. And we're back to the shot. So yeah, that is how you animate bullet points in Adobe Premiere Pro, easiest way to do it. Um, doing it this way gives you a lot of control over the bullet points, it allows you to you know, not have to bring them all in at once. You can bring, you can do different types of text. You can do different little effects. You could do that with objects. But yeah, that is the best way, I think, to animate some bullet points into After, or into Adobe Premiere. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you wanna see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got any comments or any questions, leave those in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And until next time, guys, see ya.